If you're studying to take the MCAT in 2026, and you want to make sure that you're not blindsided by weird formatting on the exam that you haven't seen before, then you're going to want to take all the AAMC practice exams. The thing that they're not telling you is that not only are they launching a new one, but currently the most representative test that the AMC offers is free and they're going to make it into a paid resource. So in this video, I'm going to go through all the updates that the AMC has for this upcoming testing cycle in 2026 and then tell you what we at IFD are going to do about it to help you out. For those of you that don't know me, hi, my name is John. I'm a resident plastic surgeon. Before going to medical school, I had to take the MCAT four times and I finally figured it out. Ended up tutoring for one of the big national companies for a couple of years. And then whenever I went back to medical school, I started this YouTube channel and the associate business and website with all of our MCAT prep resources with my co-tutor on this channel and my little sister Maggie. I scored in the 90th percentile on my exam. She scored in the 100th percentile on her exam and we make these videos and the associated resources because this is an overly competitive field and I think too often we look to tear each other down rather than build each other up. So this is me giving back to my future colleagues in medicine, you. Let's take a look at this update. I'm screen sharing the actual AMC website. I mean, you can type in the URL up here at the top if you want to. So this is coming soon, AMC MCAT official prep updates. If you don't know, this is the pro, this is the company that writes the real MCAT. And so all their practice exams are the most representative in my opinion. They've got a couple that are a little, a little too easy, but you still need to take them because getting good at the MCAT is not about learning a ton of sciences. It's about learning how to apply those sciences in the weird language that they use. And so I'm always explaining it as this is a problem solving test spoken in the language of sciences. And so yeah, you have to learn the sciences first. You got to learn the language and that's what our high yield courses and things like that do. They get you up to speed quickly so you don't waste time on that crap. Then the hard part is actually figuring out and practicing this like IQ test essentially. And that's where the practice exams and all the practice questions and the URL partnership we have and stuff like that, that's where that comes into play. So first things first is this practice exam six will be launching this fall and it's a brand new exam. This just means it's like, it's formatted like the normal MCAT and it's gonna be available for purchase. They sell their practice exams for like 35 bucks. And they're also gonna add 120 free practice questions to their what's on the MCAT content outline course. I haven't seen those questions yet, but I anticipate they're not going to be the best. I know that a lot of their section banks and QPACs and things like that are either questions that didn't make the cut for the real test or for the practice exams, or they're like recycle questions from before the test changed in 2015. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong, but I anticipate it'll still be like that because if they had questions that were good enough to sell, I think they'd sell them to you. But still, they're free. It's worth taking them. They're also going to change the name of some practice exams. So Maggie and my Myself, we all the free products that the AMC offers we broke down and we posted video explanations little passage breakdowns on this YouTube channel it's not legal to post video recordings of their paid stuff for free we actually did break down all their paid exams that we offer as a AMC passage breakdown strategies course so we walk through all the AMC exams and break them down individually, show you what you should be looking for, what a professional tutor would be looking for, what a 90th or 100th percentile score tutor would be looking for, and also teach you the strategies that I kind of had to learn. I think Maggie's a little bit better at them, kind of like innately. She still uses them, but that's probably what, you know, her, her natural ceiling was probably 90th or 95th percentile. And I think using the strategies is what helped her get to 100th percentile. Regardless, we teach all of those. And I just tell you that to give you kind of like a basic understanding for what I'm going to tell you at the end, which is what we're going to do about this new scary test, right? So their current WMC practice exam one, which is currently paid, and it's currently one that we've broken down our WMC passage breakdowns product is now going to be free. It's also probably the least representative of all the paid products that they offer. And the current free practice exam, which they're gonna name practice exam five, which that's what we posted it as on YouTube, just saying, just saying, FLE five is now gonna be available for purchase. So essentially FLE five, which is currently free, they're gonna make it available for purchase. And this is just them saying, if you already have purchased exam one, then they're gonna give you exam five for free um, once they make this switch. So that means they're gonna have seven official practice exams, which is like getting close to the number that I like students to take. I mean, 
you may not have to go too far outside of WMC resources for full length exams. You'll still need to take, you know, several thousand practice questions, but for full length exams specifically, WMC's just about got you covered, which is nice. So here's their little breakdown for the changes that they're making. They're keeping the free sample test free. Uh, FLE one, they're gonna make it free. FLEs two through four, there's no changes. And the free practice exam or FLE five, they're gonna start charging 35 bucks for. And then they're releasing a new practice exam, which they're going to charge 35 bucks for. So that's a lot of freaking changes. So what are we going to do to help make sure that this is as easy of a process as it can be for you? I spent a lot of time personal tutoring, like thousands of hours personal tutoring. I've had hundreds, if not thousands of students that are either applying this year to medical school with a great score or that are already in medical school. I get approached a lot on campuses that I've been to um, by people that have used our resources. And I always appreciate that, by the way. It makes me look way cooler in front of my attendings. But we have two playlists on our YouTube channel currently that break down the free sample test and they break down FLE5. Because that's going to a paid resource, we're gonna to have to take down FLE5 and put it into our WMC Passage Breakdowns product. Good news is we're going to post WMC1. So now you'll be getting that for free as well through our YouTube channel. So make sure you're subscribed because we'll be rolling those videos out once the change happens, of course. Now the last thing is this big scary test because I know that whenever I was taking practice exams as an MCAT student, like the WMC explanations suck. They're really bad. And so you would maybe sometimes have to jump to Reddit to find like a overachieving student that had figured out how to get the answer correct and do all that stuff. And that was kind of like the nidus for why we wanted to make our WMC passage breakdowns was to show you like these questions really aren't that hard if you know what to look for, but it's like they don't, the solutions text doesn't tell you what to look for. And so students then all the time just end up thinking like, okay, well, I probably just missed this question because I didn't know the sciences. And it's like, that's not always why you missed the question. And if you can't figure out why you're missing the question, then how are you going to improve for the next time you see one like that? And so that's why we made the product because out of all the time that I've spent tutoring students, I think that the most benefit that we got was reviewing practice exams together or taking and reviewing practice questions together. That's what a good tutoring session usually looks like is picking out a strategy that you want to improve upon, taking some practice questions and then reviewing it with the tutor. So we posted this series, this course series to do that with you. And it's, it's priced at the cost of like what one tutoring session would be with me or an experienced tutor. So we are going to break down the new practice exam. And we're going to tell you how to get the questions correct. We're going to show you how to walk through the passages. We're going to do it all. It might take us a little bit of time because it takes forever. I mean, if you take an eight hour test, then that means we have to take an eight hour test while we're doctors. I mean, I'm working 80 or 90 hours a week. <laughs> Maggie is on her sub internship. So she's essentially acting as a doctor right now. So she's working crazy hours too. So we're going to break those down. They will be in the WMC Passage Breakdowns product. We will do our best to upload those videos as we film them and as we get them edited. We're very cautious of making sure that everything we tell you is accurate. So that means not only do we take the test and review the test, but we also prep for each lesson we teach you, make sure that we remember the sciences appropriately and teach them in a way that's very testable, in a way that focuses on the high yield sciences, in a way that focuses on the strategies, because I'm convinced that is all you need for 510 to 515. And for most students, you know, myself included, like that, that range is plenty to get you into med school, maybe even get you a scholarship. So that's it. That's the update. There's going to be a new exam. They're doing some weird stuff where they're taking free stuff and swapping it to paid and vice versa. And then what we're going to do is we are going to do the same thing. So the stuff that we currently keep behind that paywall that they're changing to free, now that's legal for us to show it, we're going to give it to you. And then the stuff that they're making e illegal for us to show it, then we're going to put it behind our paywall. And then this new practice exam, FLE 6, we are going to take the time to go through and break that down as well so you can see us draw out i mean I, we literally screen capture put it on an ipad and draw it out so that you cannot miss why you should have got that question right why how you should have broken down the passage what your main idea should have been 
what things from the past you should have taken out. The whole goal of it is so that you never take a practice question and leave it wondering, why did I get this wrong? Or what am I supposed to take from this? It's unacceptable to take an eight hour test and just get like a measurement of where you're at. You should take that test and you should learn from it. And that's what we're here to help you do. If you're getting ready to study for the exam and you have no clue where to even start, then I spent months training an individual on how to properly advise you all, given the resources that you have or the ones that you don't have, on how to get your score in the timeline that you want. His name is Damon and he's excellent. I'll share some reviews with you on the screen right now. And we offer that prep consultation for free for our future colleagues in medicine. So check that out. There'll also be additional links in the description if you just know what products you want. Maybe it's the WMC Passage Breakdown. Maybe you don't know the sciences and you want our full suite of materials. Regardless, the links are in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.